All right, so this is a new episode, a different episode, you know, trying out some new stuff uh, rather than Adobe Illustrator. So I tried out like mid journey and this thing is like incredible. I said, I just gonna jump in to create a video because I'm just getting obsessed more and more with this thing and I, I need to stop it. So this thing uh, is an AI that, uh, you know, creates images. You are basically typing what you want and the AI, you know, creates the image for you. So, so far I'm combining a yellow flower, you know, that is made out of robot. You know, it's a robot yellow flower that basically has some um, eye, some robot cyborg eye in it. You know, it's kind of bizarre. But look at these things. This is what the AI does in few seconds literally so for example you, you see this you know a photoshop expert you know who does photo manipulation takes i don't know a couple of hours or days in, in order to create something like this you know, at least a couple of variations it gonna took him you know a couple of days of course these are not perfect yet uh, but imagine in two or three years i don't know man so check this out this is like really cool so it just goes on and on Anyways, I'm gonna show you a quick guide on, look at these things, man, what? I added like dystopian city in the background. I mean, I wrote it there, so it basically added this dystopian background. So giant flower, look at this, you know, basically sees everything. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how to, you know, install this mid journey eventually and how to get on, you know, designing these things. Go to midjourney.com. What is this? Join the beta and you accept invitation. Basically, this is going to go to Discord. So this is the Discord page they have. And check this out. We got a lot of sections in here. We got the newbies. And basically, you need to go to the newbies. And there's a lot of people who are generating images. You also can generate images with them. And this is the simplest way to apply. All you need to do is click on slash, type in imagine, space, and type in something like pink dog. I don't know, pink, cute dog. What else? With blue flashing eyes. I don't know, with a blue robot. I just need to add robot everywhere. I don't know. We're going into the cyberpunk world. So I just scroll down. There's a lot of stuff in here. And I know it is going to generate my image. Jump to present. Just click here. Jump to present. And there you go. Here is my pink dog basically generating it here. Everyone is doing some weird stuff. Oh my God. And look at the dog. Oh my God. This is so dope. And be patient, it takes a little bit, you know, right now it's like 61%. And now we are at 100%, I'm going to click on it and look at that, this is it so far. Uh, it doesn't show too many details because we have four images. And basically I want to go on with uh, the first, second and third image, okay? So what I'm going to do is just click on this U1, so this is the first. I'm going to select, click the second and the third. Okay, so down it is going to generate somewhere here. See that? It is pink cute dog with a blah, blah, blah. And it starts, you know, generating basically the dog separately. And by the way, this is like V1, V2, V3, V4. This is the version. So let's say I like, so let's say I like the second dog, this one. And I want like more versions out of it. So I'm gonna select the V2. And if I click on V2, it is basically going to generate uh, four more versions in here and now you can see that this dog got uh, generated separately now it basically added more details let's see the other dog look at that so many details so many details i love it and you can click on this make variations you can click on it and basically it's going to create like four more variations and now we got like new variations of this dog you know and I don't basically I don't like none of that and here it's basically creating like new variations and the only problem is that we are here with all the people you know everyone is like creating their own stuff so what you can do so basically you can separate the mid journey bot so as you can see here this is the mid journey bot right here to put it on your own channel 
So what you can do is click on this little plus at the server, you know, to direct it to your server, by the way. So you click on plus, create my own. And here basically you can choose for a club or community or for me and friends, blah, blah, blah. Skip this question. You know, you create your name and basically you create your server. Okay, so that's how you make it. So my server is up here. It's called the, the PEV Journey. And this is only me here, see? Only I generate stuff here. So how do you do this? You created your server, you go back to Mid Journey and you click on Mid Journey bot right here. Click and you can see Add to Server. Click on Add to Server and here you can select select the server. It highlights the path journey that I created and you can click on Continue. And basically you can go back to your server. This is my server and and in a couple of minutes, it is going to add the mid journey bot. And basically from there, you can start doing it. It's going to take up a few seconds, minutes. I don't know, but for me, it took a little. And of course, you can get inspired from the pros. These guys are really professional what they're doing. And you can see how is this like, this is like a painting, for example. And you can check it out like drone shot of a giant mecha walking in the forest traditional painting it added like traditional painting so this is why it looks like a painting and you can get inspired you know from others like what they are writing i gotta go with the dog pink cute dog with boob robot and i'm gonna go and add it to my pop server i'm gonna add slash imagine space control v and now i'm going to add octane render see what happens i don't know i just saw somebody added octane render it created some incredible results so let's see what, what we're gonna get and here we are as you can see it's like super realistic already with the octane render another important thing you need to take in consideration that basically you can create like 20 variations you know that's it that's the limit after that you need to you know sign up to for a subscription obviously so there are like two subscriptions i basically purchased the second one basically it's unlimited you know tries so i get the full experience another thing i'm gonna mention this is the mid journey my profile you can go to your own profile here to home on on midjourney.com slash app i don't even know how i got in here but wait a sec let me check upscale beta Oh, yeah, 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 there you go. You can access your uh, profile by clicking on web. Yes. See, and there you go. It basically zooms in the image that you created. You can save it. You can do some stuff. You can like it. Anyways, you go to the home. And here you can see everything you did. You can scroll through it. You can like it, download it, whatever you want. And mainly this is it guys i just gonna continue doing puppies for for an hour you know <laughs> so anyways thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye